Hello, welcome to DO Math. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to factor when A is not equal to 1. So first you have to look at A and look for a factor that multiplies to 2. So it can be 1 and 2. Then you look at the factor of C, which is also 1 and 2. But this time I'm going to write 2 first and then 1. Why? Because when we cross multiply these two, our goal is to get the products add up to your B, which is 5. So 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. And when you add these two, you get 5. So then you're done. So then how do you write your answer? So here's 1x plus 2 for your first factor, and then 2x plus 1. x plus 2 and 2x plus 1 is your final answer. Isn't that easy? What about this one? Let's try again. Here we have some negatives. So again, 2, you can have 1 and 2 multiplied. What about negative 1? You can have 1 times 1, but one of them has to be negative. I'm not sure which one will be negative yet, so I will go to first cross multiply it. So it's 2 times 1, 2. 1 times 1, 1. And our goal is, again, to have the sum add up to negative 1. So which one should take the negative? Yes, the bigger one, which is negative 2. That means this becomes a negative. So your final answer is 1x minus 1, 2x plus 1. So 1x minus 1 and 2x plus 1 is your final answer. All right, let's try another one here. 3 is easy because it's just 1 and 3. But 4, you can have multiple factors, either 1 and 4, 2 and 2. So you have to kind of think about it. Our goal is to have a sum to negative 8. So probably 1 and 4 will not work. will be 2 and 2. And just go ahead and try it. If it doesn't work, what do you do? Try another factor. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2, and yes, that's what we're looking for, but you're looking to have negative 8, meaning these two has to be both negative, meaning these two are both negative. But make sure these two multiplies to 4, so negative times negative is equal to 4. So it does work for us. So here's my factor. It is x minus 2 and 3x minus 2. All right, one more. So here's all positive, so we don't have to worry about the signs, but one, 7 is easy. It's 1 and 7, but look at 28. You can have a factor of 1 and 28, 2 and 14. What else? 4 and 7, right? So there are three options to choose. So we'll get the B. We are trying to have a sum of 53, so probably not 1 and 28, Probably not 2 and 14, but you can go ahead and try it. I'm going to go ahead and try 4 and 7, and think about it. What do you need to multiply with 7? Probably 7 to get 49, and 4, 1 times 4 is 4, and here you go. You're looking for the products that adds up to 53, which is our B. Done. So then, again, if you're done with our factor, you now put x plus 7, 7x plus 4 is your final answer. Would this method work, work when a is not equal to 1? I mean, when a is equal to 1? Yes, of course. So here's 1. So then what do you do? It's 1 times 1. And here's 4. You can either do 1 and 4, 2 and 2, and we are trying to get a sum of 5. So it has to be what? 1 and 4. And 1 times 4 is easy. 4 and 1 times 1 is 1. And here's 5. So then here's our factors, x plus 1, x plus 4, x plus 1, and x plus 4. And I can guarantee you this will be the easiest method to factor. So here are the worksheet that I pull up from Google, CUDA worksheets. So here's a question. So pause the video and practice it on your own. I'll provide the answers at the end. Here's the other eight questions. So pause the video and try it on your own, and here are the answers. Hopefully you learned through this video 
so you can do math. Thank you.